On May the 14th, U.S. President Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., tweeted that Joe Biden has been bribed by China. The next day, the president attacked Biden in a Facebook post. The World Health Organization was on the receiving end of similar accusations by Trump and his administration not long ago. So why is Trump so eager to link Biden and the WHO to China? Biden, the Democratic former vice president of the U.S., is now running against Trump in the presidential election. According to a new CNN poll conducted by the SSRS, 51% of registered voters nationwide back Biden, while 46% say they prefer Trump. Trump and his allies have called Biden Beijing Biden and Sleepy Joe, while tying their political rival to China. Some correspondents believe this is Trump's new election strategy. So what is the WHO? The World Health Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations, is responsible for international public health. The U.S. has been the largest contributor to the WHO. For many years, U.S. contributions accounted for 22% of the organization's total assessed fees. However, Trump decided to halt funding to the organization after some WHO officers, including Director General Tedros, praised China for its efforts to contain the COVID-19. As soon as this outbreak started, uh, China was able to identify the pathogen quickly and sequence it and share the sequence with the rest of the world. The experience that China has had needs to be shared. And this is, the, this is an excellent example of that. That direct interaction is, is, what we want, is what we want to see more and more happen. So having China share their experiences with other countries is, is, is nothing short of excellent. They're literally a, a pipe organ for China. Again, we give $500 million. We have over the years from 400 to 500 for a long time, for many years. And uh, China is giving $38 million. And yet they seem to work for China. It seems in Trump's eyes, only money counts. Nevertheless, not only has the WHO approved of China's actions against the coronavirus, some top academic journals have also credited China for its contributions to the fight against the disease with solid scientific research and impressive numbers. China should be very proud of its medical and scientific community and for international political leaders to be so critical of China is not only unfair, but it's, it's plainly incorrect and factually untrue. We support China's efforts to respond by taking measures with all the strength of its health system, but also by the recent fiscal, monetary and financial actions. China is not getting a very fair deal. China, as I understand it, has undertaken a huge, a truly huge effort to fight what has become a huge medical challenge. The idea of reducing that contact, the quarantine idea that goes back for a long time, you know, that was done in a, in a very serious way. I'm very glad that that worked because that creates, at least for countries that are as rich as China or richer, it creates a model. And now the question is, are they all being bribed by China? <laughs>